Good evening. This is Wednesday, the, what is it, 7th of July, 2021. And um, I'm going to try to do this without waking my wife up. <laughs> Sometimes she gets up in the morning and like, what were you talking about last night? <laughs> so I'm try to do it. Uh, but we're looking at Ace of Aces, Jet Eagles, the modern air combat game. It is from Nova Games, designed by... Um, Al Leonardi, of course, and for two players, ages 10 to adult. Uh, I, I haven't played this game in three years. I've had this game for years, though. And I dug it out deep in the bowels of my collection. I couldn't, I, I thought I couldn't find it. Um, and I finally got to it. And, um, of course, last place you look, right? And um, I was wanting to play it with somebody um, tomorrow. It's a guy I've played uh, the Handy Rotary series, Ace of Aces, with uh, several times, and he was wanting to try the Jet Eagles. I'll tell you, I find this to be my favorite one of the uh, of the Ace of Aces. A lot of people will say, well, you know, it was meant for World War One, and it was. It was meant for World War One aircraft, and it works excellent there. But I, I really liked this game. It was based on the award-winning system using the original Ace of Aces. Yes, it was. Um, Jet Eagles is the exciting, fast-paced game of modern air combat based on the award-winning picture book game system originally used in Ace of Aces. Jet Eagles is, puts you in the cockpit of one of the uh, most sophisticated, deadly, high-tech fighting machines ever built and lets you make the decisions. All right. Right, so people that don't understand what it is, it's a picture book game. It's a book game. We'll look at it. Let's open it up. Um, they made a, uh, they they had a Desert Storm edition of this as well. I remember seeing that at the at the hobby shop back in the day. So uh, that was a different. That was what hobby shop was that? And that was something to do in the mall, man. That was the one that I was as an adult went to. Um, so here we go. Well, let's look at it here. Let's look and see what we got. Stop, read me first. All right. The following are six basic steps that will allow you to start playing Jet Eagles immediately without having to get into the body of the rules. That is true. I do believe this is just introductory. And the introductory play is how you would play it say in the introductory levels of the um, handy rotary series or the powerhouse series just with the two games the other rules add a lot this is the basic rules that's that if i'm not mistaken adds another level and um, then you got some advanced rules which are at another level let's look at it here but here you know, here's the books if you want to you can grab two books you can be the, the, the blue four and up four. You have to blue and red, right? And you can just go through like it was um, the handy rotary books. And it plays and doesn't play anything like Jets. It plays more like World War I combat. But you, it can be played that way, which is always a good way to, to ease yourself into it. See, there's your moves. There's that. Um, there is, it goes by formulas. Wait a minute here. Yeah, this is, comes in here too. These are just these are original. These just these come in here so you can mark your chart with those. But that's 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 all the extra stuff you get. And you got the charts, right? So you got different planes. See so your Harrier, right? Back here you got the tornado that F three tornado, right? Mig twenty three, man, all right. Um, on the back, Fulcrum F15C. Look at that. So you got a lot of these modern. Well, when you say modern, <laughs> think uh, Top Gun. Really, think Top Gun. You got a lot of these. There's the. Yeah, bro, look at that Hornet. Tiger Two. Mirage. Right. Okay. So you got a lot of these. Which ones did I like playing? And you can pick them. And um, 
Well, here's the tables. Here's what I'm looking for as well. So, here's your tables. You're going to have instrument panel card. I, I, you're going to use these if, the way I remember to mark all of it with. I'm going to have to read the rules to not in the morning because we're going to play it tomorrow, right? And um, altitude tables, missiles. Um, once you start adding the rules to it, and you need the RATA. I don't know if I have a copy of the RATA in here or not, but I can get it off BGG if I'm not mistaken. The Desert Storm set came with some RATA that really helps the game out, and missile rules are a little wonky if I recall, but um, still love this game. I did like the lock on and the, the radar lock, right? You're gonna, some of that's gonna be seen in here. It's gonna come down to there. Where is it at? I can't find the, but there we go. And, the, and it's a little formulaic and it's a little more. You're gonna turn a little more than you did. The, the other one you had the half turn, the full turn. Each of you had the half turn at full turn, but it's basically the same thing. And the formulas are going to be in here, right here. All right. So that's how you're going to turn it. Like I said, it's been a while. We're just looking at it. We're not trying to play it. it but I, I, how I remember it, this was always my favorite Ace of Aces game. The last time I played it was three years ago, and it was just one or two times. And I'll tell you. The guy I played it with then, it took me forever to figure it out, but it's probably going to do me the same now, figure, figure it out again. But um, once you get it to make it work, there you go, that's what I'm looking for. Once you get it to make it work, it's all good. But this is, was my go-to picture book game in the series like these. There's a bunch of them, a bunch of different companies made, made games on them. There's modern games based on this, but... For me, Jet Eagles was really good. Again, it was that Top Gun, if you will. The Top Gun. Uh, just, once you figure it out, it's a pretty simple game. That it's, well, as a matter of fact, let's look at some of this here. Before we go, you got General Introduction. We don't need that. Here we go. Both. Yeah, it's obvious. Step one. You and your opponent each choose a book and turn page 170. You and your opponent choose a lettered arrow and call out your number under it. Turn the page number. Turn to the page number your opponent called out on the. That's that that you. We all know that. Here's where it gets more. Look at the picture. Well, that's introductory. I'm sorry. That's the basic game. Here's where it gets a little more. Sorry. Once we have played through the introductory, I agree. I think you do need to play the introductory game before just to get used to it. And um, once you, and it, it, it will take you minutes to master that. Both players perform each right. Um, step one, you and your opponent choose an aircraft, all right? Get in the combat book and aircraft card and determine a starting page and speed. Yeah. Rules for starting, see rules for starting. That's kind of a lot. Choose a maneuver uh, formula from the speed line. You are now on. You are now on in, in, in place of the in place of marker on it. If you are in the middle of the formula, skip this step, this turn, and go directly to step three. Step three on your page. Find the letter for your current turn. You and your opponent each call out the not call out the number under the letter. All right. Step four, turn to the page number your opponent called out in the last step, right? Step five, go to your present page and midterm page, look for the letter you chose in step three. Three, turn to the page number listed under that letter. Step six, look at the picture on the midterm page, check to see if your, if your HUD is visible. Determine which weapons you have available and attempt to establish contact. 7A, if the word gun appears, you may choose to fire. That's right. That is right. Okay. Kind of remembering that. That's, that's kind of cool. 
establish radar contact or establish lock on all right establish radar contact lock on target acquire launch capability launch missile right now the missile things can the missile deal can get a lot um, a lot of little steps there but a little wonky but still there the aircraft car there are 24 planes represented each one with its own aircraft car yeah and um that really doesn't tell you the flow of the game it flows pretty good once you get to it but it is again a kind of a fun game you know when you got that missile coming out and it's locked on and you're trying to outrun it uh you know or you're trying to outmaneuver it that's just it's just kind of a cool game if you can find this for a good price, I wouldn't pay a whole lot for it. I, I, man, even like those, um, I don't know, man, some of them you find, they, 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 some of these just kind of cost a lot nowadays, even like the Handy Rotary series. Um, and they've been reprinted recently, but they still aren't what I would call cheap. They aren't super expensive, right? But $20, you ain't going to find that. If you do find it for $20 to $40, pick it up. Very much worth it. Fun game. Um, I just wanted to show it to y'all because I'm about to replay it tomorrow and I have really great memories from this. It's been a while. So, all right, y'all. Y'all have a great day. Talk to you soon. Be good.